Okay, so you can see this part comes out of the trunk. See, I, I find a lot of trunks, but they don't always have this on it. That's why I think it's worth a little bit more to have this extra addition on top that can come out. And then <laughs> these are those uh, Santa plates that I was talking about, but this actually was from a different sale. So I will wait and show you those in a second. I hope the lighting's okay. I, I was gonna bring all this stuff inside and my kids are inside and I figured it might be a little quieter out here. We'll see. You guys let me know if it, you like like this kind of video, you know, outside. It's kind of a really nice day out, so I didn't really want to go inside myself. <laughs> Take advantage of it. Now this had a little bit of staining on it here, but um, I don't know if you guys can really see that. It's kind of shadowing with the door here. Um, yeah, but this is super, super pretty. If I can get it to open up. <laughs> You can see the florals on it there. Yeah, that's probably a little bit better, but now this whole lot of stuff I'm going to show you, they gave it to me for $5 for all of it. So I thought it was a super good deal. This is a really pretty tablecloth. I'm hoping to get that stain out. It doesn't really bother me if it doesn't come out because more than likely it was just like a drink or something, nothing too gross. And, um, you know, more than likely in my household with two little boys, it's gonna get stained anyways again. But I'm hoping that I can get that on my table. There's fl pretty florals all around it and that was a super cool find. And then I got this one here. I feel like this is super difficult with one hand here. <laughs> it's gotta be an easier way to show you guys this. So this one to me looked a little bit faded, but I thought it was still super pretty. You can see kind of the floral detailing there. It's kind of the same way with like, you know, in the center and then along the edges. So kind of has a ruffled edge to it as well. So I got that one. This is a nice little embroidered, um, hand embroidered piece. It uh, has like two little ladies on here on both. This is the same on both ends. Really, really pretty. I love this so I don't know like obviously I can't keep all this stuff I have to uh, make some decisions here but I really like this this is so pretty it's the same down there and then let's see what else I grabbed this is just like a I guess kind of a placemat but it has uh, kind of a quilted pattern to it the sun is doing nothing for this okay come over here <laughs> So I love all the quilting patterns to this. So, you know, I can just use this for a little little cloth to put under a plant or something. And the other side's kind of fun too. I prefer the other, you know, other side with a quilted part. But yeah, I think both sides are pretty fun. So I got that. I got this red and white checkered tablecloth here. This one I don't think is too too old, maybe might be as old as the 90s or something, but I don't know, maybe, maybe older than I think. There's like a little fork and spoon and maybe a coffee mug. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I got that anyways. That's a good size one. Then they had this giant bag of doilies and I didn't even really open and look through it. I just kind of grabbed all this linen stuff and asked them how much and I just grabbed this to kind of go with it because I assumed they were just going to give me one price and they did, so um i don't know you guys i guess i can go through this real quick let me pause it for a second okay this is getting a little more difficult than i thought it was going to it sounded like a great idea when i was like hey let's just film out of the car so this one's super pretty guys i love the pink on that that's cool so we got that one what's this one here it's just like a tan it's really large but i got a super good deal on this i wasn't even sure how many was in there so oh my goodness look at this I love that. What could I use that for? A little bit stained on the back. Like a coaster maybe? Cute. This one here kind of has like a almost lace look to it. The florals have a little bit of color. I like that a lot. It's a little, is it a table runner? Yep. It might be, oh no, it's a little bit ripped. That's okay. I just won't resell it. I'll find a use for it. It's too cute to not use. <laughs> and then what do we got here? It's like, I don't know what's going on there. It's like a little deer. Is that, maybe you cross stitch on this or something? I wonder. I wonder if it's something you're supposed to like 
fill in. And then we got a couple of towels. We got hers and his. Those are cute. And we got, this is kind of fun. I'm kind of glad I didn't go through them, sort of. <laughs> it's like cr Christmas. I can get to see what I picked up. So these are four cloth napkins here. They seem to be in great condition. Just have some simple red detailing around the edge. Got a set of these ones here. Those are cute. I guess this is a little doll's outfit, <laughs> a little doll dress. I'll give those to my nieces. Um, got this doily here. Lots of doilies. There's way more in here than I thought. Got this one's gonna off white. This little tan one. Got a pretty pink one here. This one looks to be the same. A little bit different in the pink detailing. That one, oh, this one's pretty, it has, are they ro I thought they were roses. It's still pretty, with a little pink detailing with the green. These are really good size. Usually I just find the small ones. We got this one here, that's really cute. We got, see this is another one like that deer one. Maybe it's just supposed to be like that. Maybe I'm just silly to think that you're supposed to like cross stitch this in or something. And then, looks like we got, four, maybe three or four of these. Those are huge. So obviously, I think I'm gonna keep a few of these, but um, more than likely I'll resell in my booth. <laughs> but yeah, there's two of those. This just goes on and on. So we get another tan one. Another tan one got are these the same is that like flowers okay so these ones are the same here there's three of those get this really large like red I think it's red yeah it's red this large red one here this one is a lace kind of lace table runner I think <laughs> so yeah, and then the last, no, nope, there's still a couple more. Got this one here, and then this is kind of, I guess, cloth napkins. Those are really nice, almost like the, like handkerchiefs or something. There's three of those, so I got all those plus that, 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 and that for $5. I think that's a pretty good deal. <laughs> And I got that trunk for the 10, and that duck cross stitch, like I said, was a dollar originally, but I just offered them 15 for the, um, you know, lot of it, and they took it, so I ended up with the duck for free. And then the next yard sale I went to, I got these, um, I guess they call it the Hamilton Collection. I thought they were called Franklin, but... Um, have these really nice Santa plates. So cute. The Franklin Mint Heirloom Recommendation 95. So cute. I love these plates. So like I said, I paid less than $2 a piece for them. I'm not sure which ones I want to end up keeping. So we got this one here. Let's see if I can lay them out a bit. I probably can't do this very well. But bonus, they came in these little protective covers. So that's very helpful for storing. We got this one here with the Santa and the Coca-Cola. So that's cute. Oh, please don't break. <laughs> and we have, you can see they have these stickers, heirloom recommendation. So I'm gonna look into those a little more. Um, I know the Franklin ones that look similar to this were going for 20 or 30. So I kind of thought that's what these were, but um, yeah. Needless to say, I still think they're a nice collector's item. Very cute. Now this one, do they, okay, so they do all have Coke. I didn't see the Coke in his hand up there. So they are all Coca-Cola Santas. Very cute. I don't know which one my favorites are yet. I think I really like the toy one up here, the Sparkling Holidays. I gotta figure out a better way to display these out for you guys. <laughs> I'm in, gonna end up breaking this. All right. 
let's go. This one still has one here. So we got, okay, so this one's a Norman Rockwell. So they are a little bit different. I thought they were all the same. Cool. I love Norman Rockwell, so I'll definitely be hanging on to this one for sure. Very cool. So I guess they're all part of kind of a mix match <laughs> collection here. Um, this is going to be hard. I hope I don't feel like I need to keep all of them because I really do want to resell some, at least to, enough to make my money back and um, get, get the ones that I have um, end up keeping for free, right? So we got this one here. This is another Coca-Cola one, it looks like. Okay, we got that. I think there's three more. I'm making a mess here. Okay, so this Coca-Cola one. A refreshing pause. I don't drink soda, but this is making me want to drink a Coca-Cola for some reason. I think because it's hot out and I'm thirsty. <laughs> Just looks refreshing. This one's gonna cute. He looks extra jolly in this one, I think. Making a list. So, Coca-Cola collection. I'll have to look those up. I'm not sure if their worth is any different than what I thought they were originally, so. I'm sure they're still obviously worth what I paid for. Probably well more. Oh, I guess there's two more after this. So we got this one here, the little kids and the dog. It's another Coca-Cola one. A toast to the season. Don't chip on Nicole. I hate styrofoam. I'm trying to be very gentle because the sound of styrofoam is like the worst. Everyone always has to take any packages from me at Christmas time that has styrofoam. I have to plug my ears. So I'm actually doing really good with this. I'm glad it's not overly crinkly. <laughs> I'm trying to be gentle. Um, looks like this one's upside down. All right. <sighs> All right, and the last one here, we got this Santa Coca-Cola one. I really like that one too. So, cars keep going by. That's the bad thing about filming outside is the cars go by. I live kind of close to the road, so I know that can be very loud. Hopefully it's not picking them up too much. But out of these, I think I'm gonna keep Norman Rockwell. I really like this one and I don't know if I, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six Coca-Cola ones. I thought I had not, oh, there's another one down here. Gently set it down. And then that one, so I don't know. There's seven, so that's seven Coca-Cola ones. So I might keep one of them and sell them, try to sell them as a lot as even six. I'll just have to decide, I mean, which one do you guys like? Which one do you think I should keep? I guess I'm keeping this Coca-Cola one. So, but, so I can keep two Coca-Cola ones. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which ones. I don't think I will. I might go with that big guy in there. What's this one? This one's blinding me. That one's kind of cute. Or he's laughing. I'm gonna say probably it's between, I see it's shadowing now. <laughs> probably between this one here for me or this one is the third one I'll keep. Or I kind of like that one too. I don't know. That's kind of cute where he's like telling the dog to be quiet. Might end up being that one. So probably those three, but super fun anyways. And those are gonna look cute in my booth when I resell them. Um, in a couple months. Okay, so I just decided to lay them out so you guys could see them a little bit better. Um, filming in the trunk seems to be like they were shadowing. You might not be able to see them too well, but yeah. These are the ones here. Super fun. You can see why, you know, I saw them all laid out like that while I was like, oh, I need these. <laughs> I collect vintage Santas and stuff like that have a nice little display of them at Christmas time. So I was pretty excited to see those. So those are that. My lawn's looking a little crazy. I'm sure my neighbors think I'm 
quite ridiculous out here filming <laughs> my stuff. All right, so at the same yard sale that I picked up those Santa plates, I picked up this stuff here. They didn't really have prices on most of it, so I just went ahead and offered them $20 for the Santa plates and um, this stuff, so I'm basically $5 for this stuff here. And so the first thing I grabbed was this really cute Wilson's cat tin. Um, I don't know much about this tin, but I thought it was super cute. I'm gonna put that in my booth for sure. I'm not really a cat person. <laughs> I have dogs and I'm actually allergic to cats. So um, yeah, but I thought this was super cute there. I'll have to look that up. I don't know much about that one. And I picked up a couple of Santa ornaments here. Um, yeah, they're like little candy cane Santas. But those were pretty cute. I also grabbed this uh, little trinket dish. It slides open like that. So it has the, some kind of floral detailing on it. Maybe some wheat or something. But I thought that was cute as well. I picked up a copy. It's an older copy of Little Women here by, Lu, is it Lu, Louisa? <laughs> Louisa Elcott. So, um, yeah, got that. I picked up a couple of books just for educational purposes to hang on to for my boys. Um, we do plan on homeschooling slash unschooling them. So, um, try to pick up stuff like this when I come across it for cheap. It's just a little atlas here. This is, has kind of like wipeable pages. So I thought that was kind of nice. Um, you can see like there it has a lot of information in it so I thought that was pretty neat and then I got this book here on the shadowing is really bad this was probably a bad idea <laughs> okay so this is a book on the visual dictionary of the earth so it has a lot of the like platonic stuff and um, is it platonic platonic I've been out of there, the, uh, out of there, out of school for so long, I don't even know, but it has like the different minerals and plantonic, platonic plates. What am I trying to think of? You guys are laughing at me, I'm sure. But yeah, I thought this looked like a really neat book and obviously I need to read it myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. You could, cool little learning tool for the boys. We got... The last thing I got was this um, wooden tray here. I thought this was pretty nice. Let's see if I bring it over here. Maybe else you can see it better in the sun. It's like this really pretty green, has the gold. I thought this would be good for fall, just as like a kind of a backdrop more. I mean, you could obviously use it for a tray, but it's a little, I wouldn't set food on it, but maybe just kind of like, um, you know, set a bowl on it or something. But I don't know, I just kind of liked it, thought it was kind of a neat piece, so I did go ahead and grab that as well. So this yard sale, let's, hopefully you guys can see this better, I'm not even sure how bad the lighting is, I'm sure it was horrible guys, I apologize. Um, I thought it sounded like a good idea to film outside, but I'm realizing it's probably still just as annoying as uh, inside with <laughs> screaming kids to you guys, so I don't know. Um, I thought I'd give it a try anyways, but they had a bunch of these little golden books there. I think, I think there was 85 of them total. She was asking 50 cents a piece for them. And I mean, they had a lot that were like super old. I didn't really want to pay that much, you know, for 85 of them. Um, so I had asked her how much she would do for the set of them. And I think she gave it was going to give it to me for 25 but I still didn't want to pay 25 for them so I just kind of selected out some that I thought were better and then after I kind of started going through them I saw a lot of them were kind of you know wrote in and a lot of pen damage I mean some of these have like you know names but that's not a big deal but a lot of them were like ripped and damaged and had pen marks so I tried to just pick out some of the um I guess more popular stories that I knew of so I got this one here lady and then this this one's kind of cool it has the words in it so it's like the circles and the animals i thought this would be a good one to have on hand for my little boys and then this one as well i thought was a good one for learning um 
has different things here, kind of alphabetical order. So I love the, the illustrations in these. So this one here is a Mother Goose book. So it has all the different stories in it. These cars, I swear, like, we never have anyone drive by our road. And then when I'm outside trying to film, all of a sudden, it's like the most popular place on earth. <laughs> but, oh, it's cute. I love the illustrations, but um, yeah, it has like a bunch of the little nursery rhymes or whatever. I got Peter Pan here. These all vary in age. I've seen some go to back to like 46, I think, and some were like, you know, 80s, late 80s or so. So I think this one's like 88, 89 for that one. <laughs> you guys know I saw the Santa one. I had to get that. <laughs> so I think this one actually was a little torn, but I just couldn't leave it there because it was Santa. It's so sad it's ripped. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I got this one anyways. <laughs> I'm tempted to maybe cut this up and frame some of it, but I don't know. I feel bad doing that. <laughs> and then I got Bambi. I just recently watched Bambi for the first time. And you guys, I thought all these years that Bambi was a girl. Bambi's a boy. <laughs> I never knew that. And it's actually a really cute movie. I really enjoyed it quite a bit so I got Bambi what year is this one this one's 75 um, Snow White they had also on that lot they had several that were kind of multiple so I mean I'm glad I looked through them this one is I think they had two of these and I think I grabbed the older one yeah this one's like 1948 so that's pretty cool this was the older of the two they had so I got that one. I did end up paying 50 cents a piece for these. I believe these people were moving and they had nothing priced there really. It was one of those yard sales where you had to, you know, how much is this? How much is this? And I really hate those kind of yard sales. It's exhausting to me. I like to get in and out as soon as I can. So this one I thought was cute. It's a, a book of hymns. Um, I didn't check the date, so it says 74, but it must have originated in 47, but super cute. It has like the music, um, you know, the music bars, I guess that's probably piano. I, I took piano lessons as a kid, but it's been so long and I'm assuming that's piano. Um, notes and it just has all these little hymns in it. Super cute. I got a Mickey Mouse, Walt Disney, uh, Mother Goose nursery rhyme book as well. And another one. I think this is different, but yeah, I got those. I did end up paying 50 cents a piece for those ones, but I thought they were in pretty good condition. The Santa one was the only one that was really ripped. And there was this cute little dog tin here. She gave to me for 50 cents. I thought this would be cute to keep the dog's treats in. Um, it was really clean inside and stuff, so. Currently have it in kind of a glass jar and I don't really like it. I want something that my three-year-old can go ahead and grab and help give the dog a treat for, so. I think that will be good. And this is marked somewhere on it. Exchange United States of America. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I don't know that I have a personal use for it. More than likely, I'll put it in the booth for either display piece or for sale, but I thought that was cool. I think, I can't remember if it was $2 or $3 for that, but it was one or the other, and I thought that was fair enough for that. I think it's a cool piece. So the first sale I actually went to was this one here. Um, they were moving. I asked them if this even worked, and that was my main thing because ours like, got chipped um, recently, and we're kind of looking for a new one to replace it. And I like that this one was a larger size one. Ours was a little bit on the small side. It's a little, you know, a little bit stained and stuff. I'll just clean it up a little bit. And it was only $5. I thought it was a great deal. It is Crock-Pot brand. We were looking on Amazon actually last night. We we're trying to figure out what we wanted to get to replace it with. And my husband wanted one with a timer. I don't really think this is that serious, you know, just to keep it on low or whatever. We're usually... Usually when we use it, we're actually just stay home. It just makes it easier <laughs> for little kids to use the crock pot, especially for chicken we like to do in the crock pot. Um, but yeah, I was looking on the Amazon last night 
and we're trying to decide on one and we look at the reviews and we saw so many reviews of the like um you know one star reviews and they said like my handle you know we turned it on the handle broke and or not them broke it melted the bottom was burnt um, burnt on the bottom of it uh, it was like cooking over um, overheating my food like could have caught my house on fire several of them said that their handles are melting I was just like oh my goodness <laughs> I felt very overwhelmed so um, I don't know I figure you know I used one as stood the test of time right so obviously this was well loved and used and if it still works I'm happy to have this one and I will just go ahead and use this one um, I'm sure it's going to cook great. I would guess it's probably from 80s or 90s. I'm not really sure, but yeah, as long as it works, I'm happy with that. After reading those <laughs> reviews, I'm like terrified of buying a new one. But if you guys have any crock pot um, recommendations for me, definitely let me know below if you guys have had any success with one um, with a timer, specifically my husband wants. And I know they have those instant pot things. I don't know if I can really get into that. Um, it's like kind of like a pressure cooker that kind of scare me, but I know a lot of people like those. I'm sure I will look into it in the future, but for right now, I'm just gonna stick with a crock pot because I know how to use it. So anyways, that's my little story with that. All right, so this video is taking forever. I didn't think I even picked up that much stuff today, but apparently I did. <laughs> so the last yard sale I stopped at, I grabbed this little helmet for my son. Um, I didn't end up paying 75 cents for it. He also got it like a baseball bat that he already took inside and then I grabbed this um, little wooden box here um, I'll just resell that in my booth and I picked up a bunch of records as well I'm gonna go through these and show you in a different haul because it's just taking forever and That might not be that interesting to anyone. So if you guys want to see some, you know vintage records come back I'll try to post that haul um, soon as well but i think that's gonna do it for me guys sorry for the weird video today i tried to do some vlogging and my kids were cranky and they're inside um trying to get down for a nap so i thought i would try <laughs> to film outside um yeah so thank you guys for watching um let me know below if you saw anything that you liked what your favorite items were and we'll catch you next time guys